are watching Tennessee Mornings, and you're about to see one of our favorite guests who's become very popular on this show. Mm -hmm. We're talking about Dr. Deb, and we're about to face facts. Now, for the last five consecutive years, Botox Cosmetic has been labeled and is the number one cosmetic treatment that people choose. We're talking millions of people are using it. That's right. Dr. Deb Sherman, Chief Cosmetic Surgeon at the Sherman Aesthetic Center, is here to explain all of the different places on your face that mm. could be enhanced with that wonderful little purified protein <laughs> called Botox Cosmetic. Purified protein. And we did figure that out last week. We were talking about that. That was the number one myth. People think it's a poison. Not true. That wonderful little purif purified protein called Botox <laughs> Cosmetic. Can you say purified protein? No. <laughs> That's why not. we're letting you do it. But let me tell you, when I take that purified protein and I put it in the little syringe with the master injector technique, it can produce dramatic effects mm -hmm. with, with a subtle onset. And so, so what it's approved to do is to relax overactive muscles that cause the 11 between the brows. Okay. Let's look at one of our pictures that show you. Sure. How it changes. Ah, the infamous 11. That 11 that makes yes. you look mean, angry, and tired is Dr. caused by overactive Deb, muscles. You mentioned master injector. Exactly what does that mean? It means that you have the technique, the experience, the knowledge, and the judgment about how much to put and where to put it. Got and it. the end result, it's all about the outcome, Charlie. Right. And she still has the, the movement of her brows. Her face is not frozen. Definitely see the expression in her eyes still. Mm -hmm. But she doesn't have that 11 in the front. And you can keep the wisdom, keep the expression, and lose the lines. Dr. Like Deb, when, when using Botox, do you use, um, how do I want to say this, a certain strength? A certain potency, or is it the amount you put in? It's both. And is actually, really? in different areas of the face, we use different dilutions because we know that we want it to run like watercolors in the rain in certain areas, and then we want just a precise point uh, a treatment in others. So oh, yeah. it really is a challenge. It's artistic. You have to know how much paint to use. Okay, so we talked about here. What are some of the other areas that you can use Botox? Well, many men and women in my practice love for it to be used around the eyes and the crow's feet area. Oh, yeah. You know, when we have overactive muscles in this area, when they squeeze and crunch, those squeezer muscles, they can create lines that make you look weathered mm -hmm. and tired. So let's look at a patient that has had crow's feet, and you can see in the after, not only is his, does his skin look smoother, but what my patients love is this Botox brow lift. See, when it's not squeezing, mm -hmm. then it's relaxed, the skin looks smoother, but the eyes become more open. Mm -hmm. So I have a significant number of men and women that come every four months for that Botox brow lift. They About don't have months. time for a surgical uh, now, lift. Now, let me, first of all, I, I think we've used this photo before. I want to point out that this is not the way he looks normally. He is expressing himself, to give you an idea, of what happens when he does smile or lift his brow on the left you and, see weathered and then after. horizontal lines right. but then he can still lift his brow on the right and uh, with the slightest amount you can smooth it out but still give him facial expression so that's yet another area that's a big difference huge difference look at that so you can do the crow's feet area forehead area the 11 where else can you use it well, the lower face, you know, we have many patients that come in and say, can you turn my frown upside down? Well, that's exactly what you've done there. <laughs> and the question is, does it take Botox alone or does it take fillers? Actually, it takes both. Botox relaxes the muscles that, that pull the corners of the mouth down. Mm -hmm. And fil facial fillers such as Juvederm Ultra or Ultra Plus can relax. I, I mean, not relax. That's mm -hmm. the Botox job. Sure. Botox and relaxes. Juvederm plumps. Okay. So using Ultra and Ultra Plus around the corners of the mouth, you can mm. fill in the volume and you can also soften the parentheses, those lines around the mouth and nose that make us look old. Now, Dr. Deb, I know that we've seen the, the crow's feet around the eyes. If you correct one thing, it's, it's best to go ahead and do some subtle correcting elsewhere to make everything look as one, right? Certainly at that okay. ever so important facial analysis, we can tell you. Yeah. Actually, some people need both areas because you don't want to be out of balance like you're right. talking okay. about. And I have another important question here. I know this is the time of year that when a lot of reunions are taking place, and you know as well as I do, if you want to go back, you want to look tanned and you want to look young. <laughs> so now, she can help you out with the young business here. So if you are, if, let's say if you have a reunion in September, October, November, somewhere along in there, how far in advance do you want to stop by get the facial analysis, and then have something done to make you look your best. Ideally, two to four weeks, because we have That's a it. significant number of men and women that get a facial filler or Botox, such as Juvederm and Botox, yeah. that liquid lift, sure. get ready for that college or high school reunion. And also, we have a significant number of patients that say, this is my maintenance present to myself. Every four months, they're going to say, my face is the only outfit I wear every day, so it's a <laughs> present to themselves. Why not? And significant number of patients have found that to be satisfying, because they don't have time for 
for surgery. Good. Absolutely. Okay, a present to our viewers for the next five hours. If you call and sign up for a filler treatment to be received in the next 30 days, you can receive a lower face Botox cosmetic treatment absolutely free. That's a $300 value. So call in the next five hours. The number is 297-5798. Sign up for that facial mm -hmm. filler treatment. The Sherman Aesthetic Center, of course, is on Harding Road, Suite 106. You can stop by and say hello. Right next to St. Thomas Hospital. Doctor, good to see you. My keep, pleasure. Keep that smile on your face. <laughs> That's it. I don't see any wrinkles Yes, here. it looks great. All right, more Tennessee mornings on the way after this. <laughs> Whether it's a wedding day, high school reunion, or a long way to graduation, we all want to look our best for those special occasions, right? Absolutely. Sure. Our beauty expert and expert physician, Dr. Deb Sherman, is here to share with you what her celebrity and soccer mom patients do to look hot and get that <laughs> kick of confidence before the special occasion. Okay, people are getting ready. We've got, like you said, graduations. We also have high school reunions. Mm -hmm. We've got college reunions. Hello, 10-year college reunion coming up. What is the best wow factor when you walk in the room? Well, hands down, as far as treatments available to give you the best wow, it's Botox Cosmetic mm -hmm. because it produces a dramatic effect, but it has its onset in such a subtle manner. Right. You know, over the days, it happens so subtly, and people say, what have you done? They can't exactly figure out what it was. Is mm -hmm. it your hair? Is it your makeup? Is it the fact that you've slept? But you just look great. And when it comes to these special events, be it a graduation, a wedding, uh, a reunion. The thing about it, it might just be one day your face needs to look good, but what people forget is those pictures last forever. That's true. That's <laughs> true. And the, with the pictures sitting there on your family room, your bedside table, your piano, mm -hmm. you want your face to look good for those pictures that commemorate such a great Certainly. occasion. You right? want to look great, you don't want to look different is, yeah, is the key, right? Absolutely. Now, and I'm just curious if you could tell us what all is involved in as far as the treatment. When it comes to Botox, mm -hmm. first of all, you need that facial analysis sure. from a master injector. What's, it, what's involved in facial analysis? We talk about that a lot. I mean, it's been a while since we've really defined well, we it. We take a mirror and we listen to the patient's concerns, and then we analyze the facial structure, the lines, the wrinkles, the facial expression, if there's sinkers, saggers, or squeezers, and then we fix the treatment for as a plan for what mm -hmm. the patient wants and what their lifestyle recovery issues are and their pocketbook. There you all go. All right. All right, so when it comes to Botox, you're talking about a five-minute procedure when given by a master injector. It lasts four months. It's as affordable as $300 a treatment, and it's accessible. Mm -hmm. Busy soccer moms and busy working moms, even the dads too, they can get that and look great as the father of the bride or the mother of the bride. There you go. So how far in advance do you need to plan? If you're getting married, let's say coming up in June, how far in advance do they need to come see you if they wanted to have some Botox or maybe some fillers? I have that question asked mm -hmm. every day. And the great thing is, is to plan ahead. Just like you plan your wedding, you plan your party, plan what your face is going to look like. So when it comes to Botox, anywhere from 5 to 14 days before your event, you want to get it because it takes that long to kick mm -hmm. in. You know, two to three weeks before the CMA, we have all these Botox emergencies. <laughs> well, of course you do. Everyone in the, in the, you know, the, the, the music industry, right. they like to look good for the CMA. So we have those Botox moments for them. Okay. And when it comes to Botox, then we talk about uh, chemical peels. Mm -hmm. That's only one to two to three days before so your face can have that natural glow. And we'll have mothers of the bride and brides will even sometimes have the entire wedding party. They're now making it a part of a pampering uh, event around that special I event and that, that makes it fun. You I talk about emergencies. That. When they call in, they may say, can I have more than one procedure done at the same time in order to get things accomplished? What do you tell them? Well, it really depends on their face. Sometimes only one is necessary, but other faces, because mm -hmm. of their uh, their unique anatomy, mm -hmm. require more than one. Look at the filler. So the, the, the effect that. there. Yeah. Wow. If you have those lines around the corners of your mouth, and you see those parentheses, that can be filled in. And look what it can do for the entire natural look of your face. This this what Teresa she had the liquid lift. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And with the liquid lift, we combined Botox and filler. So she was one of those patients that had two treatments. And in this instance, it's like Emerald says, bam, it kicks it up a notch. Brighten her eyes. Oh, it my really goodness. Does. Now, you've got light therapy. You've got microdermabrasion, all kinds of things. So when people come in, you know, they might think, I think I need Botox. But you would look at them and say, no, you only need microdermabrasion. Or Absolutely. no, you only need this. That's right? exactly what we do. And some patients plan their entire surgical procedure around that event. So we can help you plan whether it's a 
five minute procedure or if it's a surgical procedure and the recoveries are different. So what we can do is plan what's right for you because in some instances only one treatment is necessary and others three working together, it's like mm -hmm. Emerald says, bam, that kicks it up a notch. <laughs>